Hello, this is Dr. Benjamin Norris from the Chemistry Department at Frostburg State University, and in this video I'm going to talk about the acidity of thiols. To start off my discussion, we're going to compare the acidity of water and hydrogen sulfide, uh, which are the kind of you know, the inorganic kind of equivalents to, to alcohols and thiols. And by this point, we've probably already uh, had some practice considering uh, the structure of the conjugate base and, and the stability of that conjugate base as a predictor of, of acid strength. And using thinking about the atom and the resonance and, and the sort of the structure and the way that the negative charge can be stabilized, delocalized, etc. And so water uh, has a pKa value of well, not no Ka value, pKa value of 15.7, while hydrogen sulfide has a pKa value of 7.0. Hydrogen sulfide is a much stronger acid than water, and that's partially because the sulfur atom is a larger atom than oxygen. So, in the sulfur atom delocal or, or distributes that negative charge over a larger volume of space, uh, even though oxygen is more electronegative. We see this same relationship between atom and acidity comparing the, the structures of, actually I want to have, yeah, oxygen, comparing the structures of alcohols and thiols, All right, so here's ethanol and ethane thiol and their conjugate bases, which other than having an alkyl group instead of a hydrogen have a lot of structural similarities to, to water and hydrogen sulfide. And then the pKa of ethanol is actually very close to the pKa of water for that reason. pKa of hydrogen sulfide is a little bit higher, uh, actually about three pKa units higher, because of the electron donating group or ability of the alkyl group. And let's look at another uh, comparison. And again, I actually want to have the sulfur. Let's look at another comparison of uh, oxygen versus sulfur, this time for phenol and benzene thiol. So benzene phenol has a pKa of 9.95. And the reason for this is because of the resonance stabilization present in the structure of phenol. So phenol has this, this resonance structure here and several others. And so phenol is more acidic than other alcohols because of the resonance stabilization in its conjugate base. Likewise, uh, benzene thiol or thiophenol is also more acidic than other thiols because it has a, a similar uh, negative charge situation. I do not like where it puts these uh, charges by default. Right, and sulfur. So it has a similar resonance stabilization of the negative charge. And so we can look for this uh, and see, you can look at this and see that in general, uh, thiols are three to five pKa units more acidic than the corresponding alcohol because the sulfur is a larger atom that stabilizes the negative charge a little better. And we can use this information to choose a base that can deprotonate a thiol. And let's just use uh, ethane thiol, and we're gonna react it with some base. I'm gonna be really like super uh, generic here. So react it with some base. And we're gonna form its conjugate base. And then we're gonna form the uh, conjugate acid of the base that we use. And in order for this reaction to behave the way that we would like it, we need to make sure that the conjugate acid of our base is the weaker acid of the two uh, possible acids. So we want this to be the weaker acid. Uh, we want the thiol to be the stronger acid in the reaction. 
to guarantee that the equilibrium situation favors the products as drawn. And so, you know, we have this pKa value of 10.6 and any acid with a pKa greater than 10.6, the conjugate base of that acid is going to be a good base to deprotonate a thiol. So for example, water, let's, yeah, water, water has a pKa of 15.7, so hydroxide would be a good base to use. Uh, and anything that is more basic than hydroxide is going to be an appropriate base to deprotonate a thiol. Because thiols are acidic, you might expect thiols to be uh, to have other properties of protic molecules. Um, but one thing is, is, is certainly true. Uh, thiols are not good hydrogen bond donors. And the best evidence that I can give you for that are the difference in boiling point between uh, one butanol and diethyl ether. You know, the one butanol boils at 118 degrees Celsius, and diethyl ether boils at 35 degrees Celsius. I'm rounding to the nearest whole degree. But when we switch to the sulfur analogs, something interesting happens between butane thiol and diethyl sulfide. Butane thiol, despite having a higher mass, you might remember that heavier things tend to have higher boiling points. Despite having a higher mass, butane thiol has a lower boiling point than one butanol. And that's an, an evidence of the hydrogen bonding in the uh, in the alcohol and not hydrogen bonding in the sulfide or the thiol. Likewise, uh, now diethyl sulfide has a boiling point of 92 degrees Celsius. This is higher than diethyl ether, and this does match our understanding of the relationship between mass and boiling point. But it's not a whole lot different from butane thiol. And so this is evidence that thiols cannot under, be involved in hydrogen bonding. That thiols are not good hydrogen bond donors and sulfur atoms are not good hydrogen bond acceptors as well. So just a quick wrap up. Sol thiols are more acidic than alcohols. Thiols are a little bit less polar than alcohols. Thiols don't hydrogen bond like alcohols. Thank you for watching.